Bryce and Gaming here, uh, I know this, my quality is really bad, but uh, it's the best that I can do with the PC, guys, I'm sorry about that, I do have my mic on, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, I don't know if the laptop is able to pick it up, I'm having some problems, so I'll get it figured out, but we are going to be playing some American Truck Sim, this is a game that I've been playing for a very, very long time, as you guys can see at level 59, I have 148,000 miles <clears throat> totally driven on this. Sorry guys, I have COVID right now, it's time I'm recording this. And um, these are my rigs, these are my company drivers, trucks, this is my fun truck, and then I got my other fun trucks, such as my stretched out P, my Western Star, and the truck that we'll be driving mostly for the next little while here on the channel. I have been doing this little bit of RP, which is where I actually work for the uh, Port of Tacoma up here in Washington, and I just take pretty short trips around through Washington, Idaho, and Oregon area, and then I come back down. So we are currently uh, sitting in Tacoma at the ports. I had just delivered a load of uh, car parts here. Hopefully this game isn't too loud, I, uh, I hope it's not, and, uh, but just in case it is, we're just gonna, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about my throat, guys, run on over to the, where is it, world sounds, we're gonna want to turn the world sounds down for you guys here, and yeah, make sure, um, Right, that's pretty good. Just turn those guys down, and we're gonna simply go ahead and look to go get some sleep. Doesn't sound much quieter, does it? This game has always been a little bit uh, sketchy for the sounds. Oh, isn't there a like, master? Oh, oh yeah, right here it turns off. Master volume. Just turn that guy down. Let's see what it's at now. That's better. Hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. If it is, then I'm sorry, but we'll get it figured out. Shouldn't be- oh, it's louder inside the cab. That's not good. Alright, well, let's get ourselves fired up here, guys. Uh, I don't use the soup simulation. I prefer to just, you know, get off and go park up somewhere when I'm actually tired of life. I don't really understand, you know. I mean, I understand it, but it's not something I personally do. Let's go out and get, get some sleep, then we'll come back and we'll pick up another load. Oh, I'm still on automatic from when I uh, was doing a quick job. Let me switch that out. This is the wrong screen, isn't it? Is it? Uh, yeah. Not in controls, it's in uh, gameplay, right? Oh my gosh, you'd think I've done this before. I feel I was just flexing my level there. It is in controls, right? Yeah, okay. I just missed it. No, I'm not switching. Eight shifter. I just have an eight shifter, guys. Uh, just a six speed Logitech. That I just have a big piece of wood that I went outside and cut down and carved and slid around it. So you guys can't see it, unfortunately, but it actually goes up to about my chest while I sit down when I just shifted the gears like that, and the truck automatically just skips through its gears. So it's not quite actually shifting, but it's better than being an automatic, in my opinion. So. Parking brake is off. Uh, let's check out the lights on it. So I'll check out our trailer lights, make sure that's working. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Tires all look good for the most part. You know they are all pretty rusty. We'll check out our truck lights. Everything looks good to go. So let's get out on the road. Oop. And uh, get out of here. I am using a engine mod in this rig. It's got an 18 speed and a 300 and something horse motor in it. Man, having these, uh. Oh man. Jesus. Having these, um. What do you call them? Cabovers. They have some damn good turning radiuses on them. 
That's for damn sure. This is a long trailer, by the way, guys. This is my own personal, obviously. It's customized. Ah, uh, stuff here. This is our exit right here, as you guys can see it in the exit. This is the entrance here. It's very tight in this yard, by the way. I just mentioned that. Very, very tight. Uh, not too sure how long I can record for, guys, so we're going to find out. This video just ends abruptly, but who really knows. I'll get it all figured out as time goes on. It's so tight in here. This big truck. This is a, uh, obviously, as you guys saw, a four axle container trailer. Not clear. Not my dumb house. Sorry, guys, it's been a little while since I've been at this place, and I always forget about the fact that that's not a wall. This X is always throwing me off. Make me think it's a wall right there. Nope. The hazard zone, which I'm left out of here. Traffic's really going tonight, 1 a.m. on a Wednesday. Gotta love it. I'm gonna go up in the sky. Sounds good. Just want to let you guys for the jake on it. It's not normally how I'll be driving her. It's rough, but uh, we're going to be playing here and getting ourselves some, uh, some rest. You know what? Well, I, I hope we can still sleep. I like, sleep. Sorry, sleep. Sleep. Jesus fuck. I don't know what I'm saying, man. Uh, yep, this is our entry, right? Yeah, truck entry. Yeah, I'm tired, by the way. This is 1 a.m. Time of recording, so. Not driving how I would normally, guys. Don't you worry. I'm really gonna use this COVID time to actually try to get my self all figured out here. Do we need fuel in this thing? No, we're good. I uh, hope I can still sleep. Even with having this sick thing off, uh, I try just to use it as a way of uh, skipping time here. Where's a good parking spot up here? Ah, uh, there's one right there. Well, we'll see if we can park right next to the street. Or WN100, that is, actually. We'll see how good we can do, guys. I'm actually really good at backing, not at night, when my mirrors are this shitty. So we're gonna see, and I hope that's not loud as hell for you guys while I'm giving the... Well, I guess I'm going to go over side of this and put it on it. It's gonna go to the other spot that I can see. I really hope this isn't too loud if it is, guys. Like I said, I'll get this whole dial in. If it is too loud, but I'll just skip to the parts where I'm just having to get up and up. Oh, oh my god, man. I need to get better lights on this thing or something. No, I know it's back in the head of the window here. It's that many when I kill us. Shit. It's a little bit too much on the lines. We're gonna pull forward as I stall the damn truck out because I'm trying to start off in fourth instead of first. So I don't like starting from first. I don't like if I'm gonna unload. Empty, I should say. Man, this mirror just can't see crap. That's a really fucked me. Okay, pork and brake on, windshield wipers, it's so off, lights, off, truck off, so let's sleep guys. Perfect. Nice and early in the morning, I can actually now see, Rain's not here, it's gonna wash off my windows. So, gonna let the truck warm up, build some air pressure, in the meantime let's show you guys the rig. So this is her. She is a, uh, man, what even is this damn truck? So late. Obviously international, I just can't remember the exact model on it. This is an international 9800. 
And, uh, yeah, guys, I legit, I just got this truck, just started doing this little bit of a job. I just wanted a truck that would, you know, look good with some rusty-ass tires on them. I tried to get different designed rust tires on each tire, basically. Same with the trailers. You guys can see, I try to make it look that much more legit, having different color rust on them. Um, try to make it look like an actual working rig. So, <coughs> So we're here, man, we've already been recording for 10 minutes, I'm sorry guys, it's been boring as hell for you guys probably. We still got a job to do. So we're here in Tacoma, Washington, as you guys can see. I wanted to get a load out of the port of Tacoma. I try not to get any loads out of these areas, the gallons or any of that, because I try to, you know, RP myself working for the Tacoma. Turn on a cargo market, obviously Tacoma, and then look for this tag right here. Or we could pull, or we could drive into the port of Tacoma, which I would normally just do, but because I'm here, I'm just going to do this. Uh, I don't want to go too far once again, so you know, a load like this is just too far um, for this particular RP. Um, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it in another episode. Just not. See, this is more what I'm looking for right here. Three hours. Oh, oopsies. <laughs> Ah, I completely agree. That's why there's so many loads all of a sudden. There we go. I was like, why are there so many loads here? Okay, uh, that one's decent. That one's decent. That one's pretty dang good. I'm looking for something that's the shortest thing, really. I don't want really to make this video too long. Let's do this one right here. Er, that's too short. Let's do this one right here. Two hours and 58 minutes. We're going to be taking packaged food up to Port Angeles, which I don't know if I've actually been up there yet. Um, right on the water as well. Actually, we got port in the name. So let's grab that load. And uh, it expires in 21 hours. We got lots of time to get down there. Trucks should be all warmed up and build the air pressure now. So let's relieve our air on it. Oh, that's cool. The truck dips down. Haven't really got to use this mod yet. Much cash block. That's the reason why I don't lay on the model. Once again, double check our, all of our lights out. I'm trying to be somewhat legitimate with free trips and feel that much more RP for me. Yep, I don't do everything, but I do as much as I physically want to try to RP. Okay, so uh, that looks like a decent exit at that way. This is not the thing that can exit on the other way here. I feel like we're going the wrong way. I think that's our. Anybody park beside me? No, we're going to be on that Is that a steer axle on that trailer? No. I wasn't sure if I seen that thing steering. I was like, that would be really weird <laughs> for a container trailer of this rusty assness. I uh, tried to make it look like it could be like that. I got a truck coming here. Let's put her in first. Got to speed pretty quick here. Barely included that the trailer. I don't really need to be taken here, guys. I'm just trying to let you guys listen to something. You're making a right hand turn here. Once this uh, propane truck goes here, there's our sign right there, Port of Tacoma, which is going to be to our right, just down the street. And, uh, nah, that's a nice looking bulldozer. That would be pretty cool. Alright. Man, this truck sounds good. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing, bud? Oh, what the... Jesus, buddy, what a the... Fucking shit. Sorry, AI, I got a fucking dip ass in front of me here. This Jake is just too strong in this damn truck. Stay it's really I've noticed that it's annoying about it. Oh, that was my bad. <coughs> Once again, the second time driving this thing, so I haven't really got the transmission completely down pat yet. I should go a seventh there, that'd be good. 
Um, the Jake's really strong and I can't hold the Jake down as long as I wish to. Was a nice run. Trailer damage. Oh, what the fuck, man. See, this one I'm trying to record out late at night, guys. I'm sorry, it's the first episode. There are a lot of problems. Going on with trying to get my recording software to work. So I'm, this is my bad, guys. Second episode will be a lot better than this. I'll take my time. Check in here. Well, RP to check in. I meant to check in with that guy up there, but the car hit my trailer made me completely forget. And oh, aren't I just a dumb fucking ass? I completely forgot to get my load. See, this is what happens. Uh, the main reason for that is because I'm I have this thing that uh, for whenever I'm dropping off a load that I don't have to go into that. It just auto picks a random, so I don't have to like pick my own way. I just pull right in and it tells me it's about to park it. I don't have to pick where I park it. And I always forget when I'm actually picking up the loads. This is going to be super fucking dumb what I'm going to do right here, guys. But I don't like driving all the way back on the street. So let's just do it like this. No one's actually going to come in here, really. Okay, so cargo market. We're going to be grabbing our load here up to Port Angeles. Let's go. Just toss in reverse there. That's one of our backup skills. Come out to shine. I was just trying to get her turned around. I think I have enough for her right here to jerk that trailer back. Oh, barely. That's a trailer right there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. She's clear, though. That should be enough for right there for us. Beautiful. I'm trying to keep that actual keep clear there. Or clear keep? That's weird. Uh, <laughs> kind of there. Okay, looks like we're picking up in the back left of this place here. So we're gonna just sort of swoozy on down it through here. Man, she's tight in the course today. Alright, let me get my RP back on, guys. I'm sorry about all this. It's good to have crazy. All that. I mean, I know I have full of excuses right now, but. It's a mix of the crappy rainy night start. My. Okay, we're gonna back there. Ah, uh, it's crappy, okay. Um, mixed with my 1am-ness. I'm not doing too hot. God damn it, this is fucked up. I love already fucked up. I don't know why I didn't expect it to be a bad like this already. Should be enough room right here for us to do a quick little U-turn. This is our kind of like, you know, almost like a yard dock, or a yard dog, or whatever you really want to call it. A yard dog, what am I saying? Yard dog. Really, in this little truck, we can pretty much rip her around as we please. It's an old rig, I don't love it too much. Man, the trailer is a big um. Big um. Alright, once I get this thing picked up, at least I'll go completely try to be as legitimate as possible. I still kind of am, but uh, I don't want this video to be too long, really, because I don't know how long I can really record for it. I don't want it to end at, like, say, the 20 minute mark, and all I did was do this stupid stuff. I'm pretty sure it will just record until I basically tell it not to. None of my episodes should realistically take over an hour, really. If I, I should just also, I'll probably eventually actually start them off when I'm either at this part of the video, like right here, start them, or start them when I'm already done. Like, will probably be what I'm going to do in the future because I'm just starting them and doing all this 20 minutes of crap as if I'm streaming. Man, I'm all over the road. Right now, let's actually be legitimate once again by some user guy did. Oh wow. Okay, I know those mirrors need to be adjusted. Okay, that looks about pretty well straight back. Oh, wrong way. I am using a Logitech G29. You see, as I'm wondering as far as wheel goes on a um what's this thing? See in a minute here. You have the proper stand. That's pretty much a straight back right there. Okay. Come over here and take a look at her. It's a good looking truck. Alright, let's get loaded up. No more messing around. Probably wasting enough of your guys' time here. Okay, so 1.36 p.m. We are now loaded up. With a singular uh, cargo bin here full of how much weight? 44,000 pounds of packaged food. Is what we are pulling. Oh, why is my map like that? 
That's a bit better. That's how I like it. Time to hit the road. Let's get it fired up. I already did my pre-trip this morning. The truck should still be good. No reason why it shouldn't be. Uh, man, I had something I wanted to say there. Oh, right, right, right. My real Sam is a GT Omega wheel stand. My headset, I don't know if this thing's actually using my headset though, so when I watched the test recording it sounded like crap for my other videos, but it's a Steel Series Arctic 3 as I stall the fucking truck. Let's just start her out from first, I'm gonna do that. The truck doesn't really like to start out from fourth, really. Oh, that's, the cat's a really nice spot. I mean, they all kind of are, but... Let's see if this one's a little better. So I can kind of hug this side of the, of the road. Then the stop sign from this end. Lots of containers in the port today. Come right up here to these cars. Ooh, coming in fast on them. Jesus. It's big trailer, man. What can I say? We'll put her down in the 10th here. Hopefully no one's coming. To our horn in case. And let's get on the road, shut these guys off now. Okay. So, 21 minutes it took, but we are on the road. Officially. We are officially loaded up and started our trip. As I come just hauling out of here. God damn, that's always so freaking close, man. I swear. Okay, this time I won't forget about that. Honestly, it looks all good to go. Definitely feel the weight. This truck's not very powerful. I mean, I had 16,000 pounds of car parts. That was it. And it felt heavy. This is 44. This is the heaviest that I'm pulling with this truck, actually. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling it. Carrying to be in the right lane here. So we'll go ahead and get over. But man, oh man, is this game not beautiful. Oh cool, got the trains right there to pick up the uh, stuff, got the highway that we're getting on here. Alright. Go straight, then stay right. Stay's coming. So everybody, welcome to Tacoma, Washington. We are going to be going through Olympia here. That's where we're headed. It is the south on the Interstate 5. Headed south on the 5. Uh, and, uh, yep, there's Olympia right there, that little town, that little garage is where I saw all my rigs. That was a nice shift. <laughs> I always love when I shift like that. That was a nice shift. That was clean. It was a good, clean shift. I think my fan might be drawing some noises in this video, so if it is and I notice it, I'll make sure that's off for the next recordings. Stay back. What's the speed here? 60? Okay. Now that an old girl, an old rusty girl, who knows where luck that's gonna go flying off, so I don't really wanna be uh, going too overkill here. I wanna keep her somewhat tame now. One thing that I love about uh, what SCS has actually done with this game is I've noticed when you drive in Wyoming, a lot of cattle trucks. When you drive out here, there's actually quite a bit of container trucks. When you drive, it's just, if you guys don't know, Tacoma, this port here is just maybe, I don't know, an hour or so away from the city of Seattle, Washington, which also has a big port. And uh, actually, I believe uh, where we're going might have a port too. Where are we going? Where are we going? Well, I took the car parts, maybe not. And Port Angeles? Yeah, yeah, Port Angeles probably has a port as well. Um, so there's that. So like, there's a lot of containers. And then you know, when you go to Idaho and Oregon, there's a lot of log trucks. Stay right up. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I like the fact that they've done that. I enjoy that. Uh, I do wish I got to see the trucks still every now and then in other places. I... 
I definitely see the, the container sh trucks everywhere. The log trucks, maybe I have seen like one in every state at some point, but I, I don't see cattle rigs like ever unless I'm in Wyoming. Uh, or maybe the very tail edge of, say, I don't know, Colorado. I need to shift this big one because I don't think I did. Nah, I didn't. It's just in the weight. The goddamn dash is so dark because I couldn't light it up. I think I do not even get it. Man, god damn it. Nope. <laughs> learning, guys. I'm learning this truck. Just just got her done. I basically bought her for me. So see, there's a lot of truck. We're up in Washington. Okay. I get, yeah, see, that's kind of close, though, to Oregon. I don't know. Like, let's say I'm down by New Mexico. I wouldn't see a lot of trucks. Like, I wish I at least could see at least some every now and then. So I feel like you'd at least, if you lived in all of New Mexico, I think you'd maybe eventually get to see one. But man, oh man, it's a beautiful day here on a Wednesday, 2.50 p.m. on a Wednesday, as we truck through, we're well, still on Interstate 5 on the south. Uh, Kate, we're getting on uh, the 101 here, Highway 101, uh, going probably north, actually, I didn't get to meet up at, I know Port Angeles is the one north from Tacoma. Let's come up on our shoulder, which they're not. I'll try to ride it out here in 16th, coming on the hills. Uh, let me know, guys, what kind of trucks you guys want to see me drive, what kind of loads you guys want to see me do, because I don't just have this RP, but I definitely will be doing a lot of it. I, At least for now, I definitely enjoy this RP. I enjoy these, these short little trips. Um, basically, guys, I used to do a lot of long distance, and honestly, it was getting old, man. I was, I was kind of missing having the fun of you know, working for a pretend company and doing these short runs and old dusty, dull, dusty, rusty trucks and, you know, it feels fun to be back here, guys. You know, I never recorded any other episodes. This thing ends. Let's sketch. Let me over, bud. Yes, you are. This car is slowing way down up here. Okay, it's a 55 through here. Yes, sir, you got it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to slow up to 55, though. Rumble strips down the center lane here. Jeez, I meant to have this thing off this whole damn time. Or, no, I didn't. I'm stupid. This truck doesn't have a GPS. I'm used to having a GPS on. Uh, like in the truck somewhere. So I don't have to have that try to pop up. I believe this truck can get one, so I'll put one in it. Uh, soon here. Probably won't be the next episode, because I'm probably going to record one this exact same night. From this location all the way back to Port Tacoma. By the next one, maybe. I still don't know, because maybe I'll, who knows. Depending on energy, maybe I'll record more and just get lots of these videos up. But, um, yeah, man, I don't really know. It's, we're going to have to see how it goes. Hopefully, my voice is being heard, though. That's the biggest thing. I hope I'm not too quiet or the game's too damn loud or something stupid. Because I don't want this to just be boring driving, you know what I mean? I, uh,. It's one of the things that I always didn't like about a lot of American trucks and videos on YouTube is a lot of them are just the game, and it's like, I like that, but there's not enough. The only guy that I really like, but I've been watching him for many, many, many years, is uh, Jeff Aviano. I've been watching him since his... Jeez, man. I was at my old house, and I moved here in 2016, and I was... I remember watching him at my old place, and I still watch him to this day. And I enjoy his SCS content, but he doesn't post too much of it. Yeah, I mean, he posts every now and then, like, the DLC comes out or something, but for the most part, he doesn't record a whole lot. He definitely records enough, but not a whole lot of it, so. If I wanted to sit down one night and just watch some SCS stuff, it was hard, because a lot of his videos I've already seen, so. And I'm not a huge fan of just the game, so I'm hoping my voice is there, so at least you guys, in case you guys are the same as me. So I'm kind of rambling on as I'm talking about all this, but, uh, hope you guys enjoy some some commentary. These guys are slowing way down up here. Okay, buddy. That's a pretty good place. 
this right here. Oh. Is that a Washington State trooper or a Washington State police? I don't know, from Canada. Don't know what they're called, but that's pretty cool. Wow, it's marshy out there. And that low RPM sounds good in those big comments. 19 miles from Port Angeles there on that sign and on our GPS. Good to know those signs are correct. And that water looks really good. <coughs> Make sure that trailer is not coming over there, which is not. Oh, we're in the farm fields now. Sunflower crops, old hay crops there. Or hay fields, I mean. Hayden's gonna kill me on that one. <laughs> if he's watching, then he's laughing. Nice. Ah, uh, you guys know Hayden. He's big in the farm sim, so he'd be killing me on that for calling out a hay crop. But, uh,. Who knows, could have been grass, silage, whatever. Uh, I played that game a little bit, not enough. This is, this is my jam right here, guys. I know I just got this recording thing set up. I know I'm posting those PFRs forever, but this is my jam. Ask any of the boys this that I play with on the PlayStation 4, and they can tell you. This is my jam, man. This is my game. It's what I want to be doing in real life, uh, for sure. Don't take this video as my actual skill, either. I can definitely drive a hell of a lot better than I am tonight. Uh, it's also hard my very first time ever recording. It's uh, a little bit difficult trying to play and talk here as well, trying to focus on my driving. That's one thing that I definitely notice. It goes way down when I'm talking a lot and you jabbering on as my driving goes way down. Nope, we're not turning here, guys. See what I mean? Whoa, that's a big stop coming right up quick. Right up on the line there. Uh, should be about on the line, just to be sure though. Oh, yeah, we're close enough. And look at this truck. Dirty old girl. Dirty old cat right here. Look at those fucking axes, man. Okay, pop in the first. We're gonna go green here. There we go. Oh, grab them till you find them. Racing this bus. <laughs> nah, nah, we're gonna come right back down here. It's only a 35, so. And it's tight through here, man. Never been to Port Angeles. Looks pretty cool though. Looks like a nice spot in here. Let these guys pass me here. Make sure I turn those and they not curve. And it's just tight through here, boys. Got ourselves a little bit of a red light. Go straight. That camera's just. I mean, so am I, but <laughs> he's obviously knows these rooms more than I do. I'm obviously the old TR today. This is just some basically day cab running, just not a day cab truck. Turn left. There's four lights in here, eh? I don't mind it. This is bus blocks while I'm view, that's all. The Goliath cut the bus off. What is this? Oh, you fuckers, man. This bus is just running the red light right now. Well, that's fine, bud. Yeah, there's no problem with that. Oh, as I stall in first gear. Dumping the clutch. What is it, my first day? Apparently. Man, I really wish I knew how to install like Z mods and all that stuff, guys. I don't really know how to install that stuff. I'm not good with the files. I'm only good with Steam mods. It's the only thing I know because it's just a click of a button. Oh no, for a Steam engine mod, I mean, dude. For Steam everything, though, this isn't bad. I mean. Stay right. Stay right. Okay, so we're staying straight. We'll be having to hold the brakes here, boys. This is definitely a first gear type of startup, even that we're on a hill. We'll hold that clutch and that brake down. I can let go of the clutch, actually. Okay, put the clutch down, put it in first. We're gonna be here on the right at this tidbit. Okay. Man, I hate these drops. Where are we dropping here? In the back? Okay, this isn't like as bad as I thought. This looks tight, though. That's why I like this 
tab over. Man. See, I don't think I'm supposed to be driving this damn parking lot. If I was reading friggin' signs, Bryson, you'd know. What I normally do, I'm forgetting all my normal stuff. I even went over this. Oh, this is easy, man. Oh, yeah, simple. Okay. That's a simple alley drop. I've done this. That was easy. Oh, sweat, man. I mean, as long as I can get turned around, since I didn't really see it until I was about too late there. Oh, that's close. Which I can't. Fucking Vicky. This is maybe harder than I expected. Let's get ourselves back down out of here, then. Oh, this isn't good. I'm already screwed up. I'm already hitting curves on this side, too. Goodness. Really is my first day out here, man. Okay, straight back now. How much room do we have back there? Not a lot. That's for sure, not a lot. Let's get ourselves down this whole road as if we were just coming in. Clearly we were supposed to be driving this parking lot. This is harder than I thought, though. There's no way I'm Jack Knight turning this thing either. Unless I really have to, but I would imagine there's another way around that. Okay, let's try this here. Even in a sim, it's kind of cool being in an old truck like this. I seem to just beat them up. Okay, so I want to come all the way to the right and then hook all the way back to the left. Something like that. Should get us pretty well lined up on this dock here. And not that. Then, do one of these. Careful not to hit that truck. Where's he at? Okay, he's right there. We got lots of room. We got lots of room. Straight back. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up. Okay, let's just continue. Lots of rookie mistakes were made in this one, guys. That's for sure. Lots and lots as I continue to screw shit up. Let's see if this is gonna be a wall tap or not. Try to get it this on those white. I'm just sure on those yellow lines that I can in there on that dock. Got the man in neutral and just let mother fall back. Not too fast, not too fast, not too fast. Let's see what hit. Can we do a tap? No tap in here, boys. <laughs> That's it. Park and brake on. Release off my brakes. Shut the truck down. There we go, boys. That's a rough, a rough drive there. Yeah, pretty, pretty not bad, man. Not bad. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Oh, well, I guess before I end it, I can do this. But yeah, 144 miles, four hours. Not bad. 10 grand. Not too shabby. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, make sure to hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.